We're going to start in a comfortable sitting position. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your palms on the top of your knees, facing up. Close your eyes. Relax the shoulders down. We're going to take a few deep breaths here, inhaling through the nose. And open your mouth, exhale. And repeat two more times. Inhale, deep and long. Exhale, out of your mouth. One more, inhale, deep. And as you exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Take a moment to bring awareness to your breath and your body. And bring a positive intention. Whatever it may be. A good energy, a good thought. Just take your time and set your intention. On your next inhale, slowly open your eyes and extend the arms all the way up. Bring your palms together. Exhale, release your hands and interlace fingers now behind the back. Inhale, open your chest. Maybe now the knuckles can touch the floor. You can look down, forward or up. Breathe nice and easy for three. Breathe for two. And one, slowly release the fingers. Walk the fingers now forward. On your fingertips, keep walking the hands towards the front and keep sending your sit bones back. Lengthen the spine, take two deep breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. And as you exhale, walk the fingers back and then bring your right hand behind the back and your left hand to your right knee. Lengthen the spine, inhale. And as you exhale, look over your right shoulder and move the belly in. Take a deep inhalation here. And as you exhale, come back to center. Now switch left hand back, right hand, left knee, lengthen the spine. Inhale, now look over your left shoulder. Sit up nice and tall, breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Good, and as you exhale, slowly come back to center. Open your chest, move the chest forward, inhale. Exhale, round the spine, look to the navel. And repeat two more times. Inhale, open your chest. And exhale, round in the back. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, lengthen. On your next inhale, come back to center. And then we're going to take our first child's pose. Open your knees wide and sit back on your heels. Relax the forehead on the floor. Relax your hands, close the eyes for a moment, and remember that you can come here at any time of your practice. If you need to take rest, come to child's pose. We're going to take a deep inhalation through the nose. And open your mouth, exhale. When you're ready, walk the hands to your right side. Bring your left ear down to the floor, keep sending your left hip back so you create more space around your left side of the body. Breathe nice and easy for two. And breathe for one. Walk the hands back to center. Now walk the hands all the way to your left. Right ear down, relax your head, breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly return your hands to the center. When you're ready, we're going to bend together in hands and knees position. Align your knees under the hips, shoulders, and wrist align. Inhale, cat cow, soften the belly, arch the back. Exhale, tuck the toes under and round the spine. Three times, inhale, soften and arch, move with the breath. Exhale, tap the toes and round. Two more. Inhale, soften and arch. Exhale, round the spine. And last one. Inhale, soften, arch the back. And as you exhale, bend your toes. And we're going to take our first downward facing dog. Move the hips up and back. Hands pressing down. Fingers open. 
Move around your first down dog, bend your knees one at a time, switching your legs, right and left, right and left. And then slowly shake your head, yes, yes, yes. And shake your head, no, no, no. Good. Let's find stillness here, take a big inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, slowly move the weight forward, rounding the back and come to plank pose. Adjust your feet as you need. Hold your plank, engage the center of your body. Open the fingers, breathe. Three, two, and one. Lower your knees all the way down to the floor. Inhale, open your right arm towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread your arm under. Only the elbow, maybe, maybe. You can bring the shoulder in your right ear, left hand can wrap your right inner thigh behind the back. Or maybe you can elevate your left leg up, breathe, find your balance, find the variation for three. Breathe for two. And breathe for one with control, lower your left knee down. Slowly come back to your hands and knees position. Switch arms, open your left arm up. Exhale, thread your arm under, maybe stop on your elbow, shoulder, and ear. And same variations, you can wrap your left inner thigh. You can extend your right leg back for balance. Three, three, two. And one with control, lower your right knee down. Come back to hands in this position. We're going to meet together in downward facing dog. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> On your next inhale, move the weight forward and we're going to find one more plank position. If you need lower the knees down, you find hands and knees. If you can stay in plank, hold for three, two, and one with control, lower your knees down. Flip the fingers to the back. And we're going to repeat the cat cows. Now here, inhale, soften the belly, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine, look to the navel. Feel those wrists. Inhale, soften the belly, arch. Exhale, round the spine. One more, inhale, soften the back. And as you exhale, round the spine. Now find a neutral position, you're going to stay there. Maybe you want to go a little bit deeper, move the weight back and forth a few times. Maybe you want more, you can try to take a downward dog with the fingers pointing back, whatever it feels good for you. Three, four, three. Three, four, two. And three, four, one. Slowly come back, fingers pointing forward. We're going to return to our downward facing dog. Move the hips up and back. Breathe in and out through the nose. Exhale through the nose. One more inhale dip. And as you exhale, slowly walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. Soften your knees, relax the chest and the top of the thighs, relax the head. So no tension around your neck here. You can shake your head, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. You can grab the elbows and swing your upper body side to side. And then release your hands down. Inhale, look forward, lengthen in the spine. And as you exhale, walk the hands forward and adjust your hands to downward facing the wall. Deep inhalation. As you exhale, look forward, walk your feet now to the top of the mat. Feet together, inhale, look forward, soften your knees if you need. And as you exhale, fall down. Flat back, come all the way up, press your feet down, palms together. And as you exhale, hands in front of your chest. Two rounds of sun salutations, inhale, arms up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, look forward, halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back and step your left foot back in plank, plank pose. If you need, lower your knees down or chaturanga, lower plank. Inhale, cobra pose, move the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, you can sit back in a child's pose. 
or you can take downward facing dog. Three deep breaths. Inhale one. Exhale. Deep inhale two. Breathe out. One more. Inhale three. Exhale, look forward, either walk or fly your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, fold. Flat back, all the way up, press your palms together. And as you exhale, hands in front of your chest. Second side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, go down, fingers touch the floor. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, step your left foot back and step your right foot back and find plank. Lower your knees down or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose, shoulders back. And as you exhale, sit back on your heels. Or take one more downward facing dog. Three more breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Breathe out. Inhale, three. Exhale, look forward, either flat or walk the feet to the top. Inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, fold. Flat back, inhale, come all the way up. Press your palms together. And exhale, hands in front of your chest. One more round, inhale, flow with the breath. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot back, left foot back, flying pose. Lower your knees if you need, or Chaturanga Dasana, elbows pointing back. Inhale, upper facing on cobra pose, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, flip the toes, find downward dog. Child's pose if you need to rest. Three deep breaths, inhale one. Breathe out, inhale two. Exhale. Inhale through. Exhale, look forward. Fly your walk the feet to the top. Lengthen half, look forward. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up as you inhale. Press your palms together. Maybe a little back bend. Look back. That's now. Exhale, left side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, left foot back. Right foot back, plank pose. Go down, either knees or not. Inhale, cobra pose, shoulders back. And as you exhale, sit back in child's pose or take one more downward facing. Three more big breaths. Inhale, maybe close out. Exhale, let it go, everything that doesn't serve you. Two more, inhale, dip. Exhale out. One more inhale. And exhale. Look between the thumbs. Jump or walk the feet. No noise. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Go down. Flat back. Come on all the way up. Inhale. Press your palms together. Look back if you wish. Tadasana. Exhale. Keep moving. Don't stop. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Go down. Inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees and find chair pose with Katasana. Tailbone pointing down, belly in, shoulders away from the ears. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, strong legs, inhale, two. Exhale, one more, inhale, three. Good, exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back, lower your right knee down. First variation, both hands on the top of your left knee. Go move the belly in. Second variation, extend the arms all the way up. Keep sending your chest a little higher. Breathe. Three. Breathe. Two. And breathe. One, release the hands down. Step your left foot back, find your hands in this position. Press palms on their shoulders, let the shoulders pass the wrist. Bend your elbows and bring your chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward, shoulders back. And as you exhale, take a little rest in child's pose if you need. If you feel ready, you're going to start doing your first dolphin pose. Extend your legs. You can interlace the fingers or 
or you can press your palms on the floor. Belly in, try to look to your thumbs. Try to walk the feet a little bit more closer to your elbows. Strong arms, strong core. Breathe through. Breathe two. And breathe. Four one, let's meet together in downward facing dog. If you're in child's pose, return to your dog. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale. Feet together, we're gonna take two go down now. Come to your tippy toes, bend your knees, chest to your thighs, spread your fingers wide. Pull the belly in, take a deep inhale, heels a little bit higher. Exhale, look between the thumbs, walk and fly the feet. Lengthen, look forward, inhale. And exhale, go down. Inhale, lengthen high. Exhale, let's repeat Utkatasana, chair pose, bend your knees. Now we're going to take the twist, right hand to your left knee, left hand to your lower back, maybe stay here. Maybe take a full twist, elbow outside of your knee, hands in front of your chest. Take a moment to align both your knees. If you want more, open the arms, look up, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Good. Exhale. Come back to center. Stretch your arms. Deep inhale. Exhale. Go down. Fall forward. Inhale. Look forward. Lengthen in the spine. Exhale. Repeat. Bend your knees. Extend the arms. And now you're going to do the other side. Right hand back. Left hand right knee. Stay there. Or elbow outside the knee. Hands in front of your chest. Or open your arms. Remember to keep your knees aligned. Breathe. Three. Two. And breathe. One, come back to center. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, fall forward. Inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, step your left foot back. And lower your knee all the way down to the floor. Crescent moon. First option, hands on your knee. Second option, arms up. Keep sending your chest higher. Engage the belly in and out. Breathe. Three. And one, release, frame your right foot. Step your right foot back and find hands and knees. Hands on their shoulders, shoulders past the wrists. Bend your elbows, chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward, open your chest. And as you exhale, sit back on your heels. Stay in your child's pose if you feel tired. Take one more round of dolphin pose if you want more. And if you want even more, one leg up, right or left, whatever you want. Breathe. Three. Very good. Two. And one. Switch your legs. All the leg up. Breathe. Three. Breathe. Two. One more. And one. Let's meet together in child's pose. Open those knees wide. Sit back on your heels. Relax the forehead down. Deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale. Ah. One more. Inhale. Deep. Exhale. Ah. Last one. Inhale. Deep. And when you're ready, we're going to meet together in downward facing dog. Move your hips up and back. One more turbo dog, feet together, come to your tippy toes, bend your knees, look forward. Fly your feet to the top of the mat, no noise, inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Now as you exhale, open the feet, hips distance apart. Soften your knees and take, keep the fingers on the floor, this will be your first option. Second option, keep bending your knees a little bit more, extend the arms. Now you're going to lower your hips all the way down, roll back, no hands, come back to chair. And we're going to repeat, go down, roll back, go up, chair pose, one more, no hands, belly in, roll back, and come back to chair pose, fall forward, Utanas. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway, exhale, step your right foot back, step your left foot back and find plank pose. Hold your plank, inhale, dip, 
Exhale, Chaturanga, lower plank. Inhale, upper facing dog or cobra pose. And as you exhale, flip the toes. And we're gonna find downward facing dog. Take toes pose if you need. Three deep breaths together. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, extend your right leg up. Keep the toes pointing down. Flex your left foot. Open the fingers a little bit wider. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Look between the thumbs and step your right foot forward. Lower your back knee down. Right hand inside of your right foot. Open your left arm towards the sky. This will be your first option. Second option, extend the back leg and guide your back heel down to the floor. Both feet pressing down. You want to reach the ceiling with the fingertips. Breathe. Three. Breathe. Two. One more. And one. Look down on the front of your right foot. Kick your right leg all the way up. One more. Three legged dog. Inhale deep and long. Exhale, you can lower your right foot down and stay in downward dog, or you can do vinyasa, right leg up, plank pose, lower plank chaturanga, inhale, cobra pose, or up dog, and as you exhale, we're going to sit back in child's pose, dress, or you're going to take one round of dolphin pose, elbows down and extend your legs. Maybe you want to kick your legs up and down, up and down a few times. If you have pinch Mayurasana, go ahead and kick your legs up. Whatever you are, breathe. If you have one leg up, switch your legs all the leg up. Three. Two. And one. Let's meet together in child's pose. Open your knees wide and sit back on your feet. Catch your breath, breathe in, breathe out, two more, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and as you exhale slowly, let's meet together in downward facing dog, move your hips up and back, when you're ready, left leg up, flex the foot, toes pointing down, Open the fingers, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. One more inhale. Good, exhale, look forward, step your left foot between the thumbs. Lower your right knee down. Left hand side of your left foot, open your right arm up. Whatever you did on the other side, repeat. Maybe stay, maybe extend the back leg and lower the back heel down. Keep reaching the fingertips a little higher so you want to touch the ceiling. Breathe. Strong legs. Three. Breathe. Two. One more. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Look down. Frame your left foot. Step your left foot back and find plank pose. With control, lower your knees all the way down to the floor. Shoulders past the wrist. Bend your elbows, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra pose, up dog, shoulders back. And as you exhale, sit back on your heels, relax the forehead down. Three deep breaths. If you want more, you have the option to repeat your dolphin pose, extending your legs. Maybe you have pincha manurasana, keep your legs up. Breathe. If you don't have it, don't worry. Pay attention to the breath. Stay where you are. Three. Breathe. Two. One more inhale. And exhale, everybody. Sit back on your heels. Relax the forehead down. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a few deep breaths here. All the tension, all the anxiety, just let it go. Take one more inhale. 
and we're gonna meet together in downward facing dog move your hips up and back on your next inhale extend your front leg up open your hip and bend your knee square both shoulders so you move the right shoulder down to square the right shoulder Hold your right knee a little higher breathe in and out three two and one look between the thumbs but your right foot forward move your back heel down and line both of your, of your heels in the same line when you're ready we're going to find warrior one be about us and a one extend the arms up try to move your right hip back and your left hip forward so the hips are pointing forward relax the shoulders down breathe three breathe two one more inhale good exhale interlace fingers behind the back open your chest look up inhale and as you exhale if you if you want stay here if you want more you're going to find humble warrior fall forward the top of the head wants to touch the floor your hands away from the lower back Rest your feet down engage the back leg breathe three two and one release your hands down and then walk your hands to the center of the mat turn your right toes in heels out hands under the shoulders inhale look forward lengthening the spine halfway and as you exhale go down and you're going to flow here two more times inhale lengthen look forward exhale go down <clears throat> one more inhale and look forward and as you exhale go down and stay if you want take opposite uh, heels and bring the top of the head to the floor if you want press your hands down and align your hands with the feet elbows pointing back top of the head maybe can touch the floor if the top of the head is touching the floor try to elevate your heels up a little bit Pull the belly in, maybe you can come to tripod headstand, extending your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Open your legs. If your legs are up with control, release slowly, legs down. Inhale, look forward, lengthening the spine halfway. And we're going to walk the hands to the front of the mat. And step your right foot back, plank pose. Slowly lower your knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra pose, shoulders back. And as you exhale, sit back on your heels and take a little break in child's pose. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale slowly. We're going to meet together in downward facing dog. Hips up and back. And on your next inhale, extend your left leg up. Open your hip and bend your knee. Now square your left shoulder down. Pull the belly in. Suck your belly. Open your fingers. Breathe. Three. Two. One, look between the thumbs, step your left foot forward. Move your back heel down, align both of your heels. Inhale, warrior one, extend the arms. Relax the shoulders, bend your left knee 90 degree angle. Right hip forward, left hip back, breathe in and out, three. Breathe in and out, two. One more. One interlace fingers behind the back and open your chest. Look up, stop here. Unless you want to go deeper, fall forward and find humble warrior. Move your hands away from the lower back. The top of the head heavy down towards the floor. Breathe three. Breathe two. And breathe. One, release the hands, friend your left foot. 
Keep your left leg all the way up, up, up. Three legged like dog, breathing and out. If you want, lower your left foot down and wait in downward facing dog. If you want more, chaturanga, left leg up, lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, let's meet together in downward facing. Take three deep breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. One more. Inhale, three. And exhale. On your next inhale, walk your hands to the back of your mat. Open the toes to the side and your heels in. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, pull the belly in. And as you exhale, bend your knees and find yogi squat malasana. Bring your palms in front of your chest. Use your elbows to open your knees away from the center of your body. Now engage your pelvic floor up, hula bandha. Keep pressing your feet down, visualize a straight line between the base of the spine all the way up to the top of the head. Gently close the eyes. Three deep breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. One more. Inhale, three. Good. Exhale. You can stay there. If you want to practice crow, this is the moment to bring the palms down. Knees behind the armpits. Come to the tiptoes. Pull the belly in. Stop there or move the way forward. Maybe you can bring one foot. Maybe two. Look forward. Look forward. Press your hands. Belly in. Smile. Three. Three. Two. And breathe. Four, one, lower your feet down. Come back to Malasana, yogi squat. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. And as you exhale, release the fingers down and extend your legs. Parallel your feet and soften the knees. Take your big toes with the peace fingers. Keep the knees bent if you need. Inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, open the elbows to the sides and fall forward. If you can, try to stretch your legs without locking your knees. So you need to move the weight forward to the big toes. Breathe. Three. Breathe. Two. One. And one. Release the fingers. Look forward. Inhale. Lengthen the spine. Now as you exhale, you can repeat big toes with the big fingers or you can step into your hands. And one more time, soften the knees if you need and move the weight, the weight of your body forward. But if you can, stretch your legs and then roll your big deeper. Feel the back of your legs. Your sit bones are pointing up. Breathe in and out through. Breathe in and out two. Breathe in and out. For one, release the finger. Inhale, look forward, lengthening the spine halfway. And as you exhale, walk the fingers forward. Let's meet together in downward facing dog. Deep inhalation through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale. One more. Inhale, two. Exhale. Good. When you're ready, right leg up. We're going to repeat the same alignment we did before. Open your hip and bend your right knee. Good. Now we're going to make big circles with your right knee. Open your hip. For three. Pull the belly in. Two. One. And one. Inhale. Right leg up. Exhale. Look forward. Step your right foot between the thumbs. Lower your back heel down. Now we're going to find warrior two. Align your right heel with the middle of the back foot. Open your arms, right knee 90 degree angle. Look to the middle finger, pull the belly in, breathe. Three. Breathe. Two. One, inhale. Four, one, bring your right elbow on the top of your right knee, left arm up. This is your first variation for side angle pose. 
Second variation, we did this before, right fingers on the floor. But if you want to keep moving, you're gonna grab your fingers behind the back or maybe your leg raise. Don't sink the weight down, keep lifting the upper body. Look towards the sky, breathe, three. Breathe, two. Breathe, four, wide release. Come back to warrior two, open your arms. Inhale, extend your right leg, palms up. We're gonna do three pumping warriors. Exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, arms up, right leg straight. Exhale, that's two. One, inhale. And exhale, keep your right knee bent. Bring your right fingers diagonal to your right pinky toe. Left hand to your left hip if you look up. This is your first variation. Second variation, walk your left foot forward. Shift the weight to your right foot and we're gonna find Ardha Chandasana Half Moon Pose. Extend your left leg back, flex the left foot. You can look down or you can look up. If you're ready, extend your left arm up. If you're ready, grab your left foot behind the back and bind, opening your chest. Try to look up, breathe, three. Breathe, two. Breathe. One, bend your right knee. We're gonna fall back into warrior two. Open your arms, inhale. Exhale, reverse the warrior, right palm up. Don't extend your right leg, keep bending your right knee. If this is easy, you're gonna try to grab your right inner thigh and breathe. Three, two, and one, come back, frame your right foot. Keep your right leg all the way up, up, up. Open your knee, your hip, and bend your knee. Good. You're going to stay here unless you want to practice wild thing pose. Move your right foot behind the back and come to your right tippy toes. Keep sending your hips as high as you can. Open your chest. Look to your right hand. Breathe. Three. Two. And one, slowly come back to center, downward facing dog. If you want to do plank, lower plank, upper facing dog and downward facing dog, go ahead and do your vinyas. Take your time. We're going to move together, either in child's pose or downward facing dog. And we're going to take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe out. One more inhale through. And exhale. Let's meet together in downward facing dog. Move the hips up and back. We're going to do the other side. Left leg up. Open the hip. Bend your knee and start making circles. Big circles with your knee. As big as you can. As slowly as you can. For three. Two. And one inhale, right leg up. Exhale, look forward, step your left foot. Right heel down, inhale, warrior two, second side, open the arms. Look to the middle finger, three pumping warriors, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, two. Exhale, one, inhale. Good, exhale, keep your knee bent, left elbow on the top of your knee, right hand to your hip, look up. If you want more, right arm up, left hand down. If you want more, wrap the fingers or your right wrist now, opening your chest. Don't sit down, keep breathing, three. Breathe, two. Breathe. Four, one, slowly return to warrior two. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale, left hand diagonal to your pinky toe, right hand to your right hip. Either stay there or walk your right foot forward a little bit. Shift the weight to your foot, the front foot, and then extend your right leg up. You can look down or up. You can grab your right foot behind the back if that is an option in your practice. Open your right shoulder. Try to look up, breathe, smile, three, two, 
and one. Slowly, we're gonna fall back into warrior two. Gracefully, left palm up and reverse the warrior right hand back. Or take your left inner thigh behind the back. Open your chest, breathe through. Two. And one, come back to center. Friend your left foot. Kick your left leg all the way up, up, up. Open your head, bend your knee. Stop there or go ahead and flip the dog. While thing back, foot back. Hips as high as you can. Open that chest. Look back, breathe. Three, two, and one. Come back to downward dog. Optional vinyasa, right folks. Lower plank. Inhale, upper facing dog. And slowly, we're gonna take a little break. Sit back on your heels, close the eyes. Three deep breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Deep inhale, two. Exhale. One, three. And exhale. If you want, this is optional. You're going to come to downward facing dog. If you feel tired, stay in child's pose. If you want to try hops to handstand, you're going to walk the feet forward, shoulder downward facing dog. Open those fingers, press your palms and fingertips down. Come to the tippy toes, bend your knees, and you're going to try to come up and down five times. Up and down. Visualize hips all over the shoulders. Three. No noise when you land the feet on the floor. Two. One more. And up. And down. Very good. Let's meet together in downward facing dog. Adjust your hands and knee and feet as you need. Take the deepest inhalation so far. Open your mouth. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Deep and long. And exhale. Good. On your next inhale, right leg up. Repeat, hip up and knee bend. Square the shoulder. Take a deep inhale here. Now as you exhale, move your right foot outside of your right pinky. Right toes out, your right heel in. Lower the back knee down and stay in the fingertips. <coughs> We're going to take lizard pose now. So you're going to stay here. Or maybe you come to the elbows. Maybe you can slide your back knee a little bit more towards the back. And now feel the hips. Relax. Maybe close the eyes. Bring awareness to the breath. Three deep breaths. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. One more, inhale, three. Good, exhale, slowly come back to your hands. Walk your right foot in. Move your hips forward, inhale, open your chest, look up. As you exhale, move your hips back, bring your right toes up, half split pose, inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, go down only if you wish. Chest to knee, forehead to chin. Lengthening the spine, don't round the spine. If you're ready and you have full Hanumanasana, slide your right foot forward and find your full split pose. Good? It's intense, so go slow. If you have a block, you're going to bring the block underneath your right inner thigh. I forgot my gloves, so take your time, do what you can. Breathe. Three, breathe, two, one, and one. We're going to meet together in half splits. Press your right foot down. Extend the back leg. Find your low lunge position. Walk the fingertips forward. Shift the weight to your front foot. 
and then you're gonna take supported warrior three. So your fingertips are touching the floor. Your back leg straight, your right leg straight. If you want to play, no hands warrior three. So you're gonna make a capital letter T with the body, your torso and your legs parallel to the floor. Breathe three. Breathe two. And breathe. One, release fingertips down, step your left foot back. Step your right foot back and find flying position. Lower your plank or knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra pose, shoulders back. Good. Exhale, sit back on your heels and take a little break. <laughs> Close the eyes. <clears throat> Breathe. Three. Two. One more. Inhale. And one. Let's meet together in downward facing dog. And we're going to prepare the other side. Left leg up. Open the head. Bend your knee. Square your shoulder down. Spread the fingers. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, look forward, step your left foot outside of the pinky, toes out and your heel is in, and we're gonna find this pose side on side, on your fingertips or on your elbows. Slide your right knee back for a deeper stretch, breathe in and out, three. Breathe, two, <clears throat> one. And one, slowly come back to your hands. Walk your left foot in. Move the hips forward. Open your chest. Inhale, look up. And as you exhale, move the hips back. Flex the toes. And we're going to find either half split pose, lengthening the spine, chest to knee, forehead to chin, or Hanumanasana, full variation, sliding your left foot forward. All right, so try to keep the hips square. Breathe through. Breathe two. One. And one. Let's meet together in half split. Press your foot down and extend the back leg. Find your low lunge position now. Walk the hands forward and gracefully shift the weight to your front foot and extend your left leg up. And you're going to repeat. Maybe only the fingertips. Maybe no hands. Warrior three. <clears throat> Breathe, wherever you are. Find your balance for three. Breathe. Two. Breathe. Four, one. Soften your front knee. Land your right foot back. Find your hands in, your hands on the floor and extend your left leg back. Three-legged dog inhale. And as you exhale, release. If you want to add a vinyasa, go ahead, lower plank. Inhale, up dog, shoulders back. And as you exhale, let's sit back on your heels, forehead to the floor, and close the eyes. <clears throat> Take a deep inhalation here through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale. One more. Inhale, dip. And exhale, slowly walk the hands back. Swing your legs forward. And we're going to bring the feet together. Knees apart. Lay on your back. And we're going to take Sutala Kunas. So you're going to take opposite elbows over the head. Close the eyes for a moment. <clears throat> Feel your hips heavy. Your knees apart. And take a moment to observe your breath. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Take one more inhalation here. And exhale slowly. Close your knees. Move your heels to the sit bones, hips distance apart. We're going to do half bridge pose. Release the elbows. As you inhale, press your feet down, don't move your neck, and then move your fingers and try to grab the fingers behind the back. Try to bring the shoulder blades close to each other, press your elbows, pinkies, and feet down, and keep sending your hips a little high. Maybe you can close the eyes. 
opposite forces. Press your feet down, keep sending the hips higher. Breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. With control, release the fingers, lower the hips all the way down to the floor. Bring your knees to touch. Hands in front of the eyebrows, close the eyes. Deep inhalation through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. So now you have the option to repeat the same half bridge pose, or you can do full wheel. So you're gonna bring the hands to the side of the ears, elbows pointing up, inhale, top of the head, and as you exhale, stretch your legs on arms and find your full variation. Four wheel. Press your hands, press your feet, keep standing, hips high. Three, five. Control slowly lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Hug the knees into the chest and massage your lower back, moving the hips side to side. Good. Come back to center. When you're ready, rock yourself back and forward, back and forward, and we're gonna do. Vachima Panasana, seated forward bend to come to pose a bridge. So you're going to stand your legs forward, flex the feet, toes pointing up, inhale, stretch your arms. As you exhale, don't round the spine, leaving by the chest, go down. Maybe you can bring the fingertips on the floor. Maybe you can take big toes with the big fingers, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, chest to knees and forehead to chin. Maybe you can grab your and brace, one different variation, three, whatever you are for three. Three, two, one, inhale. Good, exhale slowly from up, bend your knees. So first variation, hug the knees into the chest, lengthen the spine and weight. Second variation, Navasana, either knees bend or stretch your legs. Find your balance. Breathe. Five. Strong core. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower your legs. Don't touch the floor. And up. Five. Down and up. Four. Slowly down and up. Three. Smile, relax the face. Two. One. Down and up. Three. Bend your knees, fingers pointing forward. Tabletop. You can look forward if your neck is sensitive. You can look back. Press and lift. Five. Four. Three. Slowly lower yourself down. Relax your legs, extend your legs. Bring your palms facing up, close the eyes. Take a deep inhalation. Long exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Baby pose. Take the outside or inside of your feet. Rock yourself side to side like a baby. You can take big toes with the big fingers and open your legs in a V shape. Lower your sit bones down. Relax the back of the head. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. 
two, and one, close, relax, hug your knees, forehead to your chin, make yourself small, take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, release, open your arms, move your knees to one side, right or left, then to the opposite side of your knees, close down. Come back to center, twist to the other side. And come back to center, hug your knees. If you want to do an inversion, go ahead. If you're ready for Shavasana, extend your legs. Palms facing up and close the eyes. You can turn your legs up. And you're welcome to stay here as long as you need. Relaxing the whole body. Nothing to do and no place to go. hope you enjoy the class. I hope you feel better after the practice. And I really, really hope to see you soon again. Stay safe and healthy. Namaste.